Today, I share how to make this simple and delicious Isiewu recipe. So keep watching if you want to see how I make this. In this pot, I have the goat head thoroughly cleaned. To that, I'll add some onions, maggi, and some salt. I've also gone ahead to remove the brain. I'm going to cook this separately in a foil paper. We're going to use this brain to thicken the sauce for the Isiewu. So do not throw it out. So I'm going to place it on top of the meat, add a bit of water, and then cover so you can start cooking. So while that is cooking, cut the onion into thin rings and set it aside. Next, I'm going to go ahead and slice the vegetable. I'm supposed to use utazi leaf for this recipe, but because I can't find it where I live, I'm substituting with spinach. But shh, don't tell anybody, okay? So cut one into long strings and then cut another one into tiny pieces just like this. Next, I'll grind the calabash nutmeg and set it aside as well. At this point, the brain was done, so I took it out and continued cooking the meat. Next, I'm going to pound the peppers and then now I'm going to add the brain that I just took out from the pot. Add it, pound everything together and set it aside. In place of edible potash, I'm going to be using palm ash. I've added some into a bowl now. I'm going to add some water, you know, stir it around so it can dissolve. Then I'm going to strain it with a nut milk bag. You don't want any particles in the water at all. So I like to strain it with this bag. It just saves me the stress. So next, I'm going to now check on the meat. At this point, the meat is done. Take it off the heat and now I'm going to let it cool down. Once it cools down, I go ahead and remove all those meats from the bone that the butcher didn't, you know, cut into pieces. In a typical Nigerian restaurant, if a customer walk in and request for isiewu, you better have the eyes, the tongue, the teeth. They want to see every part of that goat head complete. I didn't add all of it. I just added the eyes for the culture. If not, I'm going to throw it out. So that is by the way. Now let's start mixing everything together. I've added some palm oil into the pan. So now I'm going to start adding the palm ash mixture. You want to add it little by little. Once the cordles stop, next I'll follow up with the pounded pepper and the brain. Mix that in. Next I'll add the calabash nutmeg. Mix that in very well as well. Add the vegetable that we chopped into tiny pieces. Remember to use utazi. It adds a beautiful flavor to this dish. Now I tasted. I thought I needed a little bit more salt, so I added just a little bit of salt. And then finally I'm going to add the goat head. Mix, mix, mix. On until it is well combined finally i like to heat it up for just about a minute stir 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 and it is ready garnish with some onion rings and some more of those vegetable and it is ready serve and enjoy send me pictures on instagram at joyful underscore if you get to try this out see you in my next one